If you've ever taken apart a dead microwave, you know that they're a treasure trove of electronic components. Magnetrons, capacitors, relays, switches, diodes. But the most important part is the transformer inside the microwaves. Because microwaves have a transformer that can output close to 3000 volts at 1 amp. 3000 volts is a lot of voltage, but I'd like to take it a step further and put two transformers together to get 6000 volts. So here's how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take one of my microwave transformers and I'm going to hook it up to mains power at 120 volts. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second transformer and I'm going to wire that same transformer in parallel with the first one on its primary or input side. But then I'm going to take the secondary windings, that's the output windings, and I'm going to wire them in series to double the voltage. By the way, the VRMS that I mentioned in the schematic means basically the average voltage of the sine wave, but in this video I'm talking about the maximum voltage, which is always the square root of 2, or about 141% greater than VRMS. Okay, let's try it out. So we obviously have too much current because the breaker is popping. So I know that the inductance of both transformers in parallel is 22 millihenries because I measured it. And we know that the impedance of an inductor is 2 pi times the frequency in the inductance, which in our case is 8.3 ohms. And the peak current, not the average current, but the peak current is going to be the peak voltage divided by the impedance, assuming that the voltage is in phase with the current, which in this case is 20.5 amps. So we need a bigger source of impedance. So going back to the original schematic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a third transformer in series with the circuit, but I'm not going to connect the other side to anything. And what the third transformer does is it adds inductance in series with the whole circuit to increase the impedance and reduce the current. The problem is, open circuit, the transformer will have about 70 millihenries, which will add too much impedance. So the solution is to short circuit the secondary, and when I do that, I'll get about 6.8 millihenries, or 2.6 ohms of impedance, which is exactly what we need. Just a little push to get us below the current limit of the breaker. So let's go ahead and set up that third transformer. By the way, when you hear the term ballast used for an AC power supply, this is what they're talking about. So there we go, 6.8 millihenries. Next I mounted everything up to a wooden board and I even hooked up a Jacobs ladder to have something to test it on.